welcome to Mirror Vision and welcome to the 2010 Buffalo Brew Fest. This year is uh, bigger and more in every way. There's more space, more breweries, more beer being poured. Looking at a really exciting brew fest this year. I know there's going to be some new brewers and I know that the brewers that are even repeats are bringing beers to this festival that you're not going to really see around otherwise. Just as much music and food as last year and so we hope to get lots of interviews with uh, different breweries, try some more beers and talk to some different people, like the guy with the mohawk who just walked in front of me. Mike is probably somebody who's known to you. If he's not, he should be. Uh, he's on the board of the committee here that put together this thing. So we're going to ask him a few questions about uh, the planning for this year. What were the big things that you were trying to do this year uh, to improve it over last year? Well, we wanted to make sure that there was uh, you know, plenty of room for everybody to spread out. And we wanted to uh, make sure there was a lot of uh, interesting beers, something that you wouldn't just get at the corner bar or a corner store, or something that you know made it worth checking out. All right, so we just wait in line for Brooklyn. I wound up getting their Blast, which is a, uh, we think it's an IPA. It's got some really nice hop aroma and a decent bitterness, but it's also balanced by some nice sweetness. Oh, it's your secret surprise here. Yeah, we have a, uh, actually the tap handle's missing because it's in the, uh, it's getting judged right now for the best label, but uh, Lake Erie Monster Double IPA, it's a real sinister IPA. It's 9.1% alcohol, very hoppy, over 90 IBUs, and uh, big grapefruit, uh, you know, tropical fruit flavor, very dry. So we're here with Bryce from Oma Gang. So uh, what do you have this night? Today we have our Hennepin as well as the Rare Boss. Uh, both of them are Belgian style ales, and uh, the Belgians are known for a lot of flavor and big beers. Um, the Hennepin is a summer saison, so you're going to notice some ginger, coriander in there. It has a nice bite. It goes well with spicy food, especially if you're uh, cooking with the Chiavetta's marinade. Beautiful. Great pairing there because you have that vinegar balance off the ginger. What's your favorite beer so far? Um, probably the Dogfish Head 60 Minute IPA, which is an old favorite. But I've also enjoyed the Hennepin from Amagay. Very nice. Yep. But there's plenty more I still need to try. It's, it's very early in the year. Yeah, the night is young. Yes. And which of these is your recommended first beer of the Brewfest? I have not had my, uh, my hymen broken yet. Uh, I would start with the 2X. It's an explosion of flavor, and we're, we're getting rave reviews all over the country about it. All right, this is the 2X. I just got a nice little glass of it. Great golden color, very clear, beautiful head. Yeah, huge explosion of hops there. He's right, uh, grapefruit is big. A Little bit of other kind of citrus too. This is a beautiful beer. It's got like some structure to it. For really high alcohol content beer, you're not really getting any alcohol flavor, which is something you should be aware of. It's good. Tim, what do you got? Well, we brought four. We brought uh, uh, Aviator Red, our old friend. Uh, Rusty Chain, which is uh, rapidly tearing up Western New York. Become very popular. It seems to be, you know, just hitting people right. Uh, we've got Dawn Patrol Gold, which is our summer seasonal beer. It's only available over at the brewery. And then uh, Colin made a uh, our Barnstormer Pale Ale recipe, but put it on a Belgian Pale Ale yeast. It's American Pale Ale, Belgian Pale Ale. You know, thought that might be a little fun. We're going to start bottling our seasonals this year, which is new for us. So starting with Scotch Ale, which comes out in November, uh, that'll get bottled. And then Blizzard Bock, of course, in January. All right. We're about halfway through the festival so far. Lots of people down here want to drink good beer. I'm glad the craft brewing scene isn't a cesspool of indifference. What can I say? Who wants to try it? That would be yes, please. Here we are. Right, thank you. You're welcome. That was worth the wait. What's your favorite beer so far? Um, I like a lot of beer, they're all good. Well, first of all, I want to thank you guys for being here again this year and getting the word out, and thanks to everybody who comes down. This is going to become one of the greatest Buffalo summer events. And, and the reason that I appreciate it so much is that all the proceeds go to help Buffalo Hearing and Speech Center. So we take all of the money that we raise, and it goes to our foundation, and then we use the money throughout the year primarily to fund scholarships for children in our literacy program, and uh, for children and families who use our autism program. So it really is important. We couldn't do the work that we do without this event. So where else can you go in Buffalo and drink for a good cause? 